If you're looking for a durable, long-term roofing solution, you can't go wrong with metal. And with the growth and popularity of exposed fasten roofing, there's never been a better time to make this investment. However, if you live in an area that regularly encounters snow, you may be wondering what the best method is to protect your property from dangerous snow slides. Not to mention, how expensive and complicated is the solution to this problem? Join us today as we jump into the topic of snow guards and exposed fasten roofs with Sean Haddock, S5 Field Application Specialist and Product Development Engineer John Moss. They'll talk about S5's long history with exposed fastener metal roofs and the different snow guard systems S5 invented for them. Let's get into it. As you know, Sean, winter is coming. Whether we like it or not, you know, we've been out hanging out in our bathing suits, suntan, all that good stuff, you know, going to rodeos, the snow's coming. You're right, John. Um, you know, this time of year is, is one of my favorite times in Colorado. Snow starts falling, but as we all know, with metal roofs, they're slippery. And when the snow starts falling, it also starts falling off of metal roofs, which is one of the great things about being in Colorado and handling S5 products and being with S5 is we can stop all of that. And that's kind of been our motto since I was too young to really remember. Tired of shoveling walks, tired of snow crashing on your head when you shut the door walking out of a building. And so today I think we'll dive into some products that are snow retention, but also geared more towards through fastened metal roofing to the agricultural, the residential communities that have metal roofs. So Sean, back in the day, uh, when y'all were doing a lot of this, it was mostly centered around staining seam metal roofs, right? And in recent years, the exposed fastened metal roof has become increasingly more and more popular with residential barns, light commercial. I mean, really, it's the most popular roof, metal roof type in the United States, correct? You know, it really is. I mean, while we've always targeted and sold to commercial standing seam metal roofing, I'm seeing a, a growth in the industry and, and it's always kind of been there, but we're really seeing it now where people are wanting metal roofs, whether it be for to keep their house from burning in fires or just the ease of installing a metal roof. Um, the longevity too. Right. right. I mean, you see them a lot on barns and you see them a lot on big arenas. You see them on, on people's houses because they can run down to Home Depot and buy a roof and re-roof their house by themselves. So it's, it's one of those things that's definitely growing and um, a key market to, to really help those people keep snow from sliding off onto their horses, onto their cows, onto their, onto their decks. I mean, you name it. Throughout history, S5 is, is primarily catered to standing seam metal roofing. And we even had customers who came to us and said, we wanna offer a product for the through fasten roofs that'll work with your products. And we allowed them to do so until we could come out with what we thought was the best product for through fastened metal roofing. And so it's something we, we want, we don't want to ignore our customers. We want to be the best product for our customers. And so as you can see, we've come out with a fairly large line of products for through fastened metal roofing. And I think we should dive into that. You know, as many of our viewers know, they're familiar with a staining seam metal roof where you have, you know, either a snap or mechanically folded staining seam rising above the pan of the roof panel. Well, the S5 technology uh, back in the 90s that was invented was to clamp onto that seam, it was to create a mechanical interlock and hold on like country music, right? It was to hold on, it was to resist wind, it was to resist snow, and it was to mechanically hold on to that roof, all while preventing you from having to put holes in your roof. So after everything S5 learned over the years with standing seam attachments, we had to completely go back to the drawing board to develop exposed fasten brackets that would be compatible with the heavy weights associated with snow retention, the heavy loads. Yeah, you know, I mean, when it comes to attaching to these roof types where they're all through fastened, you're using screws, you've got different structures now. Instead of testing to the seam, we're now testing all the way through to the structure. And so you've got steel purlins, you've got wood purlins, you've got doubled up wood purlins, you've got wood decking. And so we had to create a whole new way to test these products. Along with that, I mean, eventually we ended up, we're testing the fasteners too. And so it, it became crucial that we use the same fastener in the different roof, in the different structure types. Along with that, you have the whole new complication of weather tightness. When they put that roof on, they use a specific screw 
and that screw has a rubber washer in it with a cap on it that prevents you from over tightening that and keeping the sun exposure off of that washer. And it's crucial that you use that type of fastener to get the longevity out of it. So all these S5 products here, all these exposed fast and snow retention products, you have to use the specified S5 recommended screw, correct? Absolutely. If you want to get the weather tightness and you want to know that your product is going to last the life of the roof, you want to use the products that we recommend and that we test with. You know, it goes right down to the butyl sealants that are applied into them. I mean, these have been industry standards for longer than I've been alive. Whether it be a butyl sealant or a rubber on some of our other products for exposed fasten, I mean, they're all been there, tested, stand the test of times. So anytime that we're attaching into the low of the panel, we're going through the panel into the structure, we recommend and use a butyl sealant. Like what you were saying, that this butyl sealant's been around the block. It's attested, it's used on, every, you know, in every construction of these buildings, you know, in the laps of the panels. And it's important for us to use methods and technologies that are common with the roof style that we're attaching to. It, I mean, it even comes down to the tools used to install them. I mean, that's always been our motto, is we want common products, common tools, common fasteners to the industry. And that's part of what makes it so easy. I mean, along those lines, with standing seam roofing, there's all kinds of different profiles out there. Well, you have the same thing with through fasten, from profiles you buy at Home Depot to profiles you get at some of the larger metal roofing manufacturers. So we had to come out with a with kind of a line of products to match that industry. You know, we've got different brackets and it's for different reasons. They achieve the best holding strength that we can find for that specific profile. That's kind of how we've evolved and, and come to the current product line we have today and we're constantly building on that as you know, you're in R&D. I mean, you're coming up with new stuff all the time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're constantly evolving. We're constantly continuously improving. We don't just leave things alone. We spend a lot of time improving our current products and evolving and making things better. Yeah, I mean, that's where, that's where we came from. And that's part of what being at S5 is so great is we're constantly evolving. We're constantly coming up with new ideas. We're constantly coming up with better ways to do it. It's challenging every day and it's fun. Why don't you talk us through some of these different products and where we started and how we evolved and the different needs and applications of these systems. That product next to you is one that's been around for a long time. It's a trapezoidal through fastened metal roof. What we came out with first was what we call a verse bracket. It's a Z shape. You could use our current color guard product with it and you could screw into it. Later we came out with VersaClip where you could bolt into it, made it a little easier. Again, that, some of that improvement as we go along. Mm -hmm. As time went by, you know, Core 10 came out and that was, that was the big thing and they used it on this rolled corrugated. And so people started putting this on high-end homes and things like that. Well, then they immediately had a problem and it wasn't too long where we came out with a core bracket and that allowed you to attach to this profile and, and use our color guard product. As time went on, people kept asking us for bar systems. They liked the color matched, but also some people want it to stand out. They want to see a fence up there. And so we came out with, with dual guard and versa guard and some of these that, that give you that fence look so that you can have your pick. And when you talk about that evolution, we've also started building these products into our calculators online so that they can be calculated and you can put a system up there that you know is going to last the life of the roof with no problems. The age old question, we get this with their standing seam clamps, we get this with everything, is they'll say S5, what the heck do I put on my roof? I've got a metal roof, it's great looking, I love it, but y'all have got a lot of products, how do I pick the right one? And we always re respond with, well we've got a tool for that. We've put a lot of work in into two really awesome tools that are available for free on our website called the S5 Configurator and the S5 Snow Calculator. That configurator does exactly what it sounds like. It, it tells you, it configures, and it tells you what you need for your application on your roof. So you can go in there and you can say, you know what, I've got a, uh, I've got a panel for Metal Mart, it's a 7 8 corrugation, it'll tell you that, hey, you need the core bracket for that. Or if you don't know, you can look at pictures and it has references, some reference dimensions on there. You can hold up a tape measure to your own roof, figure out what you need for your application. Uh, same thing with your decking. You know, if you say, oh, you know, I've got a, I've got a half inch deck on there, you can punch that in and it'll calculate all that for you. Yeah, I mean, it really comes down to a, a couple of factors. One is, what is your structure? How much snow are you trying to hold back? 
And then finally, which one do you like better? Which one looks better? Are you gonna need two rows of one system as opposed to one row of another? Yeah. And, and what look are you really going for? I mean, the goal is that you have an attractive system that's gonna last the life of the roof and, and you get to pick. The configurator, like you said, it narrows you down to, here are the systems available for your roof. Let's calculate them. Let's see what's gonna be the most cost effective. In addition to telling you what you need, I mean, it gives you a full bill of materials in a PDF format where you can print it, you can take it to your distributor, email it to your distributor, or there's a handy button right there that says request for quote. So you can, you can shoot that off to three distributors of your choice. They'll come back to you with quotes. You know exactly what it's gonna cost. If you have any trouble along the way trying to figure out, well, I don't know what my profile is because I'm not in metal roofing. I just know what I have up there and it's metal. You can take a picture of it, like you were saying earlier with a tape measure. You shoot that to support at s5.com. There's buttons all over our website to contact them. It's a great support team. They will get right back to you, help you determine what your roof is so that you can continue on with your system and even help you through calculating that system. We offer all that kind of stuff at S5 to make your job as easy as possible. And what's going to be the prettiest for you? So talking about aesthetics, you know, aesthetics are, you know, half the battle in some instances. So, you know, we've got the color guard system, which was our flagship. It's been around a long time. It's very widely used. So this uses a piece of the actual roof material slide in and it basically disappears on the roof. Nice, clean, straight line. But if you want to go even, even farther, you're going a different direction. You know, we offer the Versa guard and the dual guard for exposed fastened roofs that you can have those powder coated. You can have them painted with a PVDF paint and it can match your roof perfectly. And the entire system, you can have that two pipe look with the matching qualities of the paint. And you can also leave it the color it is in a mill finish and have the contrast. Oh yeah, it looks great with Galvalume. I mean, it matches. It does. Yeah. You know, it really comes down to the eye of the beholder and, and which one they want. You know, w with the exception of which bracket you're gonna use, we have the two pipe systems, which comes down to different roof types, but essentially you're still getting a pipe system, a dual pipe system, mm -hmm. that's gonna look sleek on your roof, um, or the color guard that's gonna blend in. And I, I think it's a great product mix, and I think there'll be more in the future. Like everything at S5, it's tested, trusted, engineered. Take, put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> That's going to do it for our look at the topic of exposed fastened roofs and the right snow guard systems for them. Remember, if you're looking to stop snow from sliding off your metal roof, it's important to find the correct option for your specific type of roof and the design snow load for your area. While that may have been challenging in the past, the S5 Project Configurator and Snow Calculator are fantastic tools to figure out exactly what you need for your project. And if you still require extra help beyond that, don't worry, our support team is there to help. Thanks very much for stopping by the Metal Roofing Academy. As 2022 comes to a close, we just want to share our gratitude with all of you who have helped make S5's 30 year anniversary such a success. We wouldn't be here without you. See you next time, everyone. <laughs>